Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over a spreadsheet that I have built in order to help salespeople as well as, uh, you know, founders who are trying to launch cold email campaigns, how they can build GPT prompts in order to write these emails much, much faster. And so what we have in front of us is we have a bunch of inputs that we are going to put into our GPT prompts. And then we have a bunch of different prompts. And what you'll see here is basically all of these prompts are the exact same format in the beginning. Basically everything is the same from here. What I have done though, is taken a LinkedIn sales influencer or a company and I have basically put in example emails that they have said, hey, these are really good examples of emails. Either they have written them or they say that they're really good examples of emails. And so we use those examples in order to train the GPT uh, prompt. So you see we have Josh Braun, we have Lavender, we have Hunter.io, we have Patrick William Joyce, Mailshake, and uh, we have some of the copywriting I've used in the past with some of my clients. And basically, all we have to do is we need to insert inputs about our company, which is then going to feed into the inputs right here so that this will create a GPT prompt for us. And then we can put that straight into ChatGPT and we will get an email as an output. Then when we're building follow-ups, I know this is email two, like email two A, two B, two C, but think of these as just follow-up email creators. We can just put in the email here just to teach it that, hey, we, we sent this email and uh, you know maybe mention some things in that previous email. And then I've created a input for email three, or this is just other follow-up emails where you can mention another case study, another cost of an action, another industry trend, and something new that we can teach the prospect as well. And then we have all of these different examples and flavors that we would be able to add in. Now we're using this to build an actual sequence. I've actually found that if you just use email one and then a follow-up email, and then maybe you switch it like you did Josh Braun first, and then maybe you switch it to uh, Patrick William Joyce and then do a different follow-up email, you could get a sequence of four uh, emails that are completely unique and ready to send with a little bit of editing uh, very, very easily. And so it's literally as simple as once you have these companies, uh, this company input filled out, all you have to do is just copy and paste the prompt that I have created here. And then we're just going to open up ChatGPT. Make sure you're using GPT-4 because it really only works on GPT-4. And then we just hit uh, copy and paste inside. And then we just let it run. And so now we're going to create an email using Lavender's uh, style. And so you can see here, but it says, notice you're looking for someone to handle cold email research in your job posting. What if we could save your time, hours of manual research and boost the response rate at the same time? We've helped companies like Growth Nginx do just that. Fancy a quick chat and uh, explore how we can help you outsmart the competition and save time. Cheers. Now, notice that email versus maybe Patrick Williams Joyce email where we'll get a different output because the examples are different. And so we'll put this in. Hey there, saw you're hiring someone for cold email research. What if you could supercharge your SDR's productivity by using a single platform that combines 40 data providers instead of manual research? We helped Growth Nginx do this. Would you like to chat about a secret weapon? Just say the word. Different style of email, basically talking about the same value prop, but awesome. We, we're definitely getting a different style here. So then what we do, oops, is actually we're going to go back and I'm going to copy this email. Then I'm just going to paste it into our ones here. And so basically now we'll write our follow-up emails. And so now we just take this prompt and we'll say, hey, I want to write a follow-up email. Boom, let's send this. how we specifically helped growth Nginx. And so this one I call the three ideas follow-up where we basically dig deeper into what we said in the previous email. This is one that I like to send. Let's set up a chat. Okay, awesome. And then here's the short follow-up. So this is basically just a two sentence or a one sentence follow-up right here. Are you open to a new approach to increase cold email response rates using AI and multiple data providers? Let's chat. Really, really short and to the point. And then this one is going to highlight the cost of an action in the second one. Whoops. So this high, this one is a follow-up that is really just highlighting the cost of an act, in action. Have you noticed the industry trend toward AI and multiple data providers for personalized outreach? The cost of an action is SCR is wasting half the day on research. So let's chat to stay ahead. 
So again, these are pretty good as just first draft uh, emails. I have found that this is already helping me save a lot of time. And basically I just put these in and then I uh, let them run. Uh, with that being said, uh, you do need to just touch it up a little bit, but as far as getting your ideas from the inputs into an email, it's saving me a bunch of time. I will share this link in the uh, channel comments and let me know if you have any ideas or let me know if you've come across another library of people's content that we could use as examples in here. I'm, I'm always looking to add more. So thanks for watching.